Hey, and welcome to Tana Fundamentals. I'm Lucas, I'm a product manager and creator, and in this video of Tana Fundamentals, we'll dive deep into the power of Tana's super tags. For a general overview of Tana, watch the previous video, which I'll link over here. Probably the biggest thing that makes Tana so immensely powerful is the concept of super tags. Super tags turn any note into a thing. They can serve as a template for content and fields, and they help AI understand what's in your workspace. To create a new super tag, simply type the hashtag and the name of the tag. Tana will give you an auto filtering dropdown as you type and create a new one if that what you're typing doesn't exist when you hit enter. But Tana already gives you a couple of basic super tags that are set up so that you can hit the ground running. For example, Tana comes loaded with a task super tag, which turns any note into a task. Notice how I'm saying turns into. That's a good frame to think about what's happening in Tana compared to other tools. In other tools, tagging something often means relates to or contains. You would tag a book with productivity or history, for example. In Tana, it's best to think about super tags as is a relationships. This note is a task and another note is a book, for example. To represent something like relates to or contains, you would use fields. For fields in Tana, you should think about has a relationships. A task has a related project uh, that it belongs to or um, has a topic. And then what you do in the field is link notes that have is a relationships with super tags again. So a task has a field project, which references a note that is a project or a book that has a field topic, which references a note that is a topic like history or productivity. Why does Tana handle super tags and fields this way? Because it creates a semantic graph that allows deep understanding of how things are actually related to each other. What this enables already, but that will become even more powerful in the future, is how AI can understand the information in your workspace and work with you on that content and work with that content. Every super tag contains a template of fields and other content that gets applied every time that you add a super tag to a note. You can see that here when I actually apply the task super tag. Um, it comes with a status field, a due date field, and a related project field. And just to repeat, it's very natural to read if you have the is a and has a convention in mind. This note is a task that has a status and has a related project. You can, of course, always add a field to any note by typing the larger than symbol. So if I type larger than and then assignee, that fields get added to the note. And if you then decide that this field should be part of the template, you can simply right click the icon and select add to template. And this field will now appear on every other node um, that has the task super tag, even those you have already tagged. So if I create a new tag here, check conversion rate of landing page for podcast and type task. This now also has the assignee field. As you can see by the icons next to the fields, every field has a type. By default, a new field is simply a, a text field, like the assignee field here. You can change the field by right-clicking the icon and selecting change field type. Options and options from super tag are particularly powerful, but you can also use dates, numbers, uh, URLs, emails, and, and 
check boxes uh, as well. The status field in the task super tag, for example, is an options field. This gives you a drop down with to do, doing, done, and canceled. To edit and change these options, you can right click the icon, select configure field, and change what's in the predetermined options field. We can delete canceled, for example, and put uh, dropped in here for for example and then if we go back we now have dropped here as a drop down value the related project field is an options from super tag field that populates the drop down from every node in your workspace that has a certain super tag so if we right click the icon and select configure field, you see that this field looks for all nodes that have the project super tag and it gives you those as options. So if we have um, a project here, improve conversion rates and tag that as a project, I can now select this here in the drop down, and I can do that here as well. You also see that this field has auto initialize set to, to ancestor with this super tag. What does that mean? This is really convenient because it allows me to go in here and when I have a note indented below a note that has the project super tag, that is a project, and then tag that note with task, the related project field will be automatically set to that project. And that's very convenient. So if I do a third conversion rate check here and tag this with task, you see the related project field is immediately filled out and I don't have to do that myself anymore. Sometimes it might be the case that you don't need a field on every node with a certain super tag. We might want to set the due date only on some tasks and not all of them. That's why you can make fields optional in Tana. If you uh, right click a super tag and go to configure uh, super tag and open up the content template uh, section here, you can drag and drop fields from the default content section um, down to the optional fields uh, section. And that creates this little icon here um, and you see the due date has re been removed from all of these three notes um, that have the task super tag. But if I want to set it, um, I can click this little icon and that gives me all the optional fields that I can add to um, this note. Um, and if I want to set a due date here, I can select that, I get the field, and now I can set it as due for today, for example. Another thing that makes Tana super tags incredibly powerful is that they are composable. You can add multiple super tags to a note and all of the fields from both super tags will be applied. So let me create an additional super tag design task, for example. Design task, command K, uh, convert to super tag. And now I have created that um, as a super tag as well. That's a second way of creating uh, super tags. And we're going to configure this and add here a field Figma URL, for example. And we're going to set the field type here to URL. Now I can add this super tag to this task note here as well, design task, and that will get the Figma URL field. Um, and it will also have all the fields from the task super tag. And you'll see which super tag each field is coming from by the color of the field. This always matches the color of the super tag it's from. So Figma URL is blue because design task is blue and status and related project are purple because task is purple. But you can do even more. If we go into the configuration of the uh, design task uh, as well and click the extend from button and select the task super tag, uh, which what happens? We now have the in the design super tag in the default content, all the fields from the task super tag. So the design task uh, super tag inherits all the fields from the task super tag and has its additional content, the Figma URL 
as well. If I now create a search somewhere looking for the plain text super tag, it will show up there um, as well. So I can actually remove the task super tag from here. But if I now create a uh, search and look for everything that is a task, you will see that check conversion rate of new signup page also shows up because through this inheritance, everything that is a design task is also viewed as something that is a task. And that is really convenient because um, I don't have to apply multiple tags if I don't want to. And still I can say, okay, design tasks are tasks, but they have additional information. I don't always have to um, make the Figma URL field uh, optional, for example, right? I'm able to compose these things really, really well. And I go into way more detail on this in my course, uh, Mastering Tana Core. The link is in the description if you want to check that out. Now let's talk about super tags and AI. One important thing you want to do when creating a new super tag and making it ready for AI is going to the config of the super tag and set its base type. Tana comes with a list of basic types that make it easy for AI to understand what the super tag is used for. If your super tag doesn't fit one of these tags, uh, that's no problem at all, it still works, but when it fits, it's a great way to help AI figure out what is going on. And AI is baked very deeply into Tana, and I'll show you this with the way AI interacts with fields. Let me paste in a quote here from Working Backwards, which is a book about how Amazon is so good at um, operations. And this quote is about Amazon's corporate uh, culture. Let's apply the quote super tag and actually create it new, right? We're now creating a quote super tag. And we're also going to add a new field below that quote. We'll call that field topics. Also new field doesn't exist yet. And again, let's add that field to the template of the quote super tag by right clicking and selecting the add to template option here. And now you see it becomes blue. Uh, it is now part of the quote super tag. Let's say we want also a super tag to denote the topic of something. Uh, we'll call that super tag uh, topic, of course. And as I mentioned, a second way to create super tags is simply creating a new note with the name of the super tag. So topic and then typing command K and convert to super tag. And now let's go in and set the base type of the topic super tag actually to be topic here uh, and select a base type and set topic. And now we're going back here to the topics field. We're going to right click, um, configure this field and set it to options from super tag and select the topic super tag. And now we're going to configure this field and make it AI ready. We're going to scroll down here um, and select AI enhanced field. Now watch this. In the field below the quote, we get this little sparkly stars icon. If I click this icon, Tana is going to have AI look at the contents of this note and figure out what the topic of this quote is and fill it in automatically, including tagging. So click this and here now we have Amazon's corporate culture correctly tagged as a topic. If a fitting topic doesn't exist, it'll create one and tag it. But if something fitting already does exist, it'll link to that existing topic. So for example, let me delete this. And here we're now going to put Amazon's corporate culture and tag that as topic. Note that I've used title case here to distinguish it. And now if I have this as a drop down, it will obviously work as options from super tags. But also if I click this uh, AI button here, it will select from the topic list and use and reuse this existing Amazon's corporate culture topic node um, that we already use and link 
to that. And that is really powerful and it can help in so many circumstances. You can use this to populate a summary automatically uh, as well, uh, for example, and a whole host of other things. And I'll go into much more detail on this in an extra video on using AI in Tana and the link will be above um, over here once that video uh, is out. You can also tell AI about when a certain tag should be used when it is auto-processing things. For example, um, let's take another look at the task super tag that Tana uh, comes with. If we go here into the configuration and the AI and command section, you see that Tana has filled out the AI instructions with a bit of context about what is supposed to be a task and what's supposed to be a memo. You can do the same thing for any super tag that you create. Again, more detail in the dedicated Tana and AI video. Tana is also really big on using voice, both in the desktop and the mobile version. You can create, for example, audio-enabled super tags that make voice entry super, super easy. Let's say I want to have a quick way to save ideas. I can create an idea super tag and configure it to be audio-enabled by flipping the audio-enabled tag switch. So if I go in here and I just tag this note as idea and then I configure this tag, go down here to AI and commands and click audio enable tag. What happens now is that I get this little microphone icon next to the tag and when I click this I can start an audio capture. I should definitely build a heavy lift airship in my spare time. Airships are awesome. What I say is transcribed and the transcript added as a uh, child note and the note with the tag gets uh, the summary. You can see in the configuration that you can also add post-processing uh, commands. We'll get into that in a dedicated video over here on using commands to automate tasks in Tana. All right, that was a pretty comprehensive tour through super tags and how powerful they are. We haven't covered everything, but we've covered the most important things you should know about super tags. I think it's clear that super tags let you do way more in Tana than you can do with ordinary tags in other apps. You can actually build whole apps inside of Tana by setting up a couple of related super tags. Uh, your creativity really is the limit. And if you want to learn more more about super tags, check out my course Mastering Tana Core, which has a whole module on designing systems of super tags and other modules that cover AI in more depth. In the next video in this fundamental series, we'll do a deep dive into search and live feeds in Tana. See you there.